Folks across Illinois and much of the Midwest woke up to a disaster zone this morning. The aftermath unthinkable. According to IEMA, 120 people are hurt in Washington. Alicia Lewis has been amid all the rubble in the town of Washington all morning long. Alicia, what can you tell us? Natalie, residents are left picking up the pieces here in Washington after a tornado tore through the town of about 16,000 residents. Now, thousands are still without power. Hundreds are still without a home. As you can see behind me, this was a mobile home park, and beyond it are homes that are just completely destroyed. The town is littered with pieces of debris, such as this piece here. There's cars flipped over, trucks and semis are flipped over. IDOT, Ameren, and state police officials are reminding residents that their major concerns here are fixing major gas leaks, clearing the fallen power lines, and making sure residents obey the curfew here in Washington, which means no one can enter the town between 6 p.m. and 7 a.m. every day. Now, the mayor here, Gary Manier, is trying to stay optimistic here, but he is just completely shocked by the devastation. We'll do another sweep today to make sure there's no one trapped, uh, and then Eventually, we'll let residents back in to try to claim, you know, some memories. Uh, right now, we want to make sure it's safe for them to, to get back in. So it's a slow process. Uh, I hope they're patient with us. Hope they understand. But uh, we're a spirited community. I mean, we really are. I mean, we're fortunate. Uh, a lot of people were in church yesterday when it hit and uh, may have uh, kept from more loss of life. The good news is help is on its way. Help is already here. The bad news is, um, you know, it's going to take some time for this community to uh, to pick up the pieces. You don't rebuild 400 homes overnight, and these people have to go to work. They have to go about their lives, and they've lost everything. Now, as you can see, there is a lot to clean up here today. Uh, we spoke with a few residents here in the parking lot. One was actually sleeping in his car this morning because he doesn't have a home to go to anymore. He lost everything, and that's along with hundreds of others here in uh, Washington. Now we are standing by waiting for Governor Pat Quinn to arrive here. Other than that, we will be here giving you updates throughout the day or you can go to our website, WICS.com, and we'll keep you posted throughout the day. Reporting live in Washington, Alicia Lewis, ABC News Channel 20. Just unbelievable devastation. Thanks so much for that update, Alicia. As Alicia said, Governor Pat Quinn is visiting storm-damaged communities across Illinois right now. He's set to visit five different communities in central and southern Illinois today to see the damage up close and personal. He started the morning in Chicago, where he gave a briefing about the restoration efforts that are underway. He's headed to Washington right now. We're told he should be speaking in about 20 minutes. Then he's going to visit Diamond, Gifford, Brookport, and New Minden. And speaking of all of these communities, you may be wondering how the storm system got so serious. CNN meteorologist Indra Peterson explains how this pattern of tornadoes formed in the first place and why it was so powerful. Sunday's dramatic tornado outbreak is one for the record books. 81 reported tornadoes across 10 states. Initial estimates show this monster storm cycle produced at least one EF4 tornado touching down in New Minden, Illinois. It would be the first ever recorded in the state's history in November. EF4 tornadoes are capable of packing wind gusts up to 200 miles per hour. Those gusts were powerful enough to annihilate entire neighborhoods and flip cars in Indiana. The storm system isn't believed to be as powerful as the EF5 tornadoes that devastated Moore, Oklahoma in May and Joplin, Missouri in 2011, but its timing sets it apart. A strengthening area of low pressure moved over the Great Lakes with very cold, dry air behind it. That mixed with the warm, moist air from the Gulf ahead of it, and that big contrast in air collided with wind shear, a sudden and drastic change in wind direction at different heights in the atmosphere. 101 tornado warnings were issued in Illinois on Sunday. That's more than half of the warnings that have been issued in the state since 1986 in one day alone. Continuing our storm coverage this morning, an official damage assessment will be conducted today following yesterday's tornado in Gifford. More than 200 homes in Gifford were damaged or destroyed in that storm. Six people were taken to area hospitals while those without shelter stayed at the Country Health Nursing Home nearby. The Emergency Management Agency has confirmed the tornado was one of three to hit Champaign County. The other two were in or around Broadlands and Flatville. This morning, safety crews from multiple agencies are assessing all of the damage. Champaign County shared Sheriff Dan Walsh says the county chairman deemed it a disaster area. Uh, the whole backside demolished the roof. Uh, 
uh, the roof of my car, windshield, all the windows of my truck blowed out. It's just a complete mess. Walsh asked that no volunteers visit the area until further notice, but an IEMA representative says people can visit the Champaign County Emergency Management Agency on Facebook for more information. The representative also said the tornado traveled from Muhammad to Thomasboro and then to Gifford. The community of Gifford remains under a boil order right now. And the American Red Cross has already dispatched disaster relief crews to the area's hardest hit. If you would like to help donate to their efforts, we have a link on our website. Go to WICS.com and just click on WebWatch.